Davis, bro. I sent out a tweet about this. There's nobody that I'm more heartbroken for than Buffalo. There are two just lovable teams in the NFL right now. That's the Bengals and the Bills. And I think most of America that's not a Chiefs fan wanted the Bills to win this game. And that's nothing against the Chiefs. I like the Chiefs. You know, I love Tyree Kill. I love Jackson Mahomes. Uh-oh, retard alert. We've seen the Chiefs win already. Oh, and Gabriel Davis, who some might even consider like almost literally the fourth option on this team. You've got Diggs, of course. Austin Knox, who actually gets a lot more touchdowns than you'd think. Emmanuel Sanders, who has proven to be an incredible wide receiver. And Cole Beasley. I feel like Cole Beasley and Gabriel Davis are more or less on the same strand. And then all of a sudden, Gabriel Davis has one of the most spectacular playoff games I've ever seen in my whole life. And it wasn't even like he was catching these like, you know, garbage screen passes and then running running 80 yards. He made some incredibly clutch plays. That corner post route he did for that final touchdown when everybody thought the Bills were gonna win it with 13 seconds left. It was nasty. It was so clutch. It was the perfect moment. He broke his ankles. And I remember thinking, oh my God, Gabriel Davis is gonna be the hometown fucking hero, bro. Everyone will remember Gabriel Davis after this moment. The Bills are gonna beat the Chiefs. He had an insane game. Eight receptions, 201 yards, and four touchdowns. And you guys know, uh, you guys know what happened. Also, I'm very excited to partner with Ace Defender on today's video. Ace Defender is a high quality SRPG masterpiece. It combines turn-based RPG with power defense elements. You guys are gonna love this. There are tons of chapters and heroes, each with their own background story. You can level up, combine heroes, equip gear, and create a powerful lineup. And there's a few options for gameplay too. You can do PvE, where you explore dungeons and regions, level up your heroes, and collect rare items. That's personally my favorite. And there's also PvP, where you can fight against other players. Players. You definitely got to bring your best strategy if you're going to do that. There's also a brand new hero called Brenda the Demon Spear. She has abilities to deal massive damage in both PvE and PvP, can limit her opponent's damage, and recover health on her own. She is a beast. And there's a mysterious new word in the game called Realms of Deities. It's available soon in the game where you can build your castle, develop technology, and train your soldiers to conquer the cities for endless treasures. On the Realm of Deities map, you can defeat all kinds of monsters and get rewards, fight together with your allies, and gain more power for your heroes through magical research. I am so excited for this. And new users who download the game right now will get 10 Royal Recruit tickets after completing Chapter 2, Level 8. You can use the tickets by selecting Sky City, then Tavern, then Recruit 10 times. So absolutely check out Ace Defender with the link in the top of the description. You guys don't want to miss out on this. Ace Defender, thank you for sponsoring, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Best defense in the league, right, guys? Oh, I made a clear point. I said, as soon as that happened, I was like, I need to memorialize Gabriel Davis in Madden. I figured EA would give him a card. They did. I'm pissed, though. He should have been the limited. He had the best game out of anybody in that whole game. There's nobody who played better than Gabriel. Gabriel Davis in that whole game, other than maybe Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes. And if I had to take a guess, it was Josh Allen. They ended up giving the 96 overall to McCall Whoa. Hardman. I don't, I don't know where the fuck they got that from. McCall Hardman in that game had one reception for 26 yards and he had one rushing touchdown. I mean, Tyreek had 11 for 150 in a tutty. So I don't know if they're planning something. I don't know why the fuck McCall Hardman got it, but whatever. I can only be so mad. Gabe Davis gets 93 speed. If his deep route running, bingo. I was just about to say, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna crank his deep route running. And what do you know? His short and medium is 88, and his deep route running is 94, specifically for that route uh, that he put on at the end there. Uh, I'm sorry that you could not advance. The Bills team looks dominant. Hopefully, you stay on it. And uh, what the fuck am I doing? Gabe Davis isn't watching this video. Maybe he is. I always wonder that to myself. How many NFL players have, like, YouTube themselves and then watched a YouTube video of me just talking shit about them? It's a good thing I'm six foot five. Otherwise, I'd be really scared. So, Josh Allen did get a 96 playoffs. Uh, I love the card art. It looks sexy as shit. And this quarterback is insane. 87 speed, 96 throw power. Uh, and he's also a strong arm. So I'm pretty sure I get Gunslinger relatively easy. This is one of the best quarterbacks in the game for sure. 5 AP for Gunslinger. I don't use it very often. We're definitely going to use it right now with Gabe Davis. 6 AP for Escape Artist and Gunslinger. So 11 total. I'll go Gunslinger, Pocket Deadeye, and Identifier on this Josh Allen. Abilities wise, he doesn't get anything crazy. Not anything that I really like. He didn't get shit. Disrespectful. I am giving him outside of Renaissance because when you get outside
that apprentice, you can make uh, post corners, which is actually the reverse of the route that he ran, but whatever. It's still a cool double move, so. All right, outside apprentice and reach for it. Now, what's gonna be awesome about this video, the house rules, which is the gameplay that I'm using for Gabriel Davis and Josh Allen, is overtime. You guys know that all my like last week or two of gameplay videos have been that overtime mode, but this is perfect because Bill's Chiefs actually went into overtime, and now we can run out the scenario where, you know, the Bills actually received the coin toss. Josh Allen, Gabriel Davis, this is my tribute. I feel so fucking bad. Either way, you guys are seeing this video on Sunday when these games are going down. So here's my predictions. Rams beat the 49ers. Chiefs beat the Bengals. I know those are the obvious picks, but listen, if Jimmy fucking Garoppolo goes to Super Bowl, I am boycotting it. I'm not watching. Literally, I will have to hear about it like a week later when somebody tells me in a conversation. Jimmy J better not make the fucking Super Bowl, bro. Ah! The sickest Super Bowl, which I predicted, I predicted the Super Bowl like 12 weeks ago. I said Rams Bills. It was so close. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be Rams Chiefs. We'll see. You know, you guys can make fun of me in real time if I'm wrong. First and 10. Let's get Gabe Davis involved here. Uh. Or let's just throw the ball away because nothing's open. So I think if I send Gabriel Davis out to the far left, he now gets outside apprentice. And I'm gonna try and throw this post corner. Uh. It kind of is. The only thing is he... Dude, I'm... T Dude, why... Why? Why is Vita Vea still literally the best card in the game? <laughs> He's so fucking good. He's literally so good. It's not fair at all. I'm sorry, Gabriel Davis, but you're going to get outshined by Vita Vea. Okay. Well, this is bad now. Wait a second. It's not bad yet. Yup. Throw it back to Joshy Poo. <laughs> It's actually extra sad for the Bills that we're doing this here because this is what the Bills would have loved. So this is the equivalent, you know, the Chiefs just scored. Now the Bills are back on offense. I get that it doesn't make a lot of sense in this scenario, but you get what I'm saying. If he scores here though, all he has to do is kick a bay and he beats me because I went for two and I didn't need to. Calling his audibles, third and 11. We got that clap, that's game! Gabe Davis gets his redemption. Oh, all right, I'm sorry, Gabriel Davis, but Vita Vez just, he's just built like that. Johnny Unitas, Freddie Warner, DJ Reader, okay. Play action from Unitas. Oh, that check down in the middle's there. Big hit! <laughs> Whatever, good stop. He's got Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, and those are the only abilities he's rocking. Oh, I just got to cover the middle. Third and 18. I'm sending blitzers. Oh, no. I was supposed to blitz Shaq Thompson. Got it. Got it. Got the blitz off. That's what I needed. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. What? <laughs> Why did he overrun it? I was right there. If he scores now, I'll be depressed because we had an easy INT right there. We'll make, we'll give our, ourselves some redemption if we need to. Let's clog the middle. Come on. We know where he's going. Oh, he's not. No way I'm losing this one. Kicker PAT, yup. It really is perfect because every time our opponent starts with the ball and scores, we can just pretend in our heads that this is how that this is how the Chiefs Bills game should have gone, right? I'm gonna try and get Gabriel Davis in space. See if he can just make a play. What do you know? There we go. That's eight yards, Gabe Davis. I'm giving him the post corner. I really don't know on the short side of the field if that can even get open. Ooh, but there is a wide open Darren Waller that I have to take. Okay. I wonder if Gabe Davis is open here. Oh, he is! He is! Gabe Davis! Back in the end zone! Let's get it! I could ice the game and just end it right now, but I'd rather do PAT. I will say, in this overtime mode, they make PATs so fucking hard to kick. Oh! Dude, it's weird. Like, in head-to-head, -head, it's not that hard. In this overtime mode, they made it more difficult. I think so the games end sooner. I was just setting up my excuses in case I shanked it, but I didn't shank it, so it doesn't fucking matter. The playmaker got him! Let's go! What about a fade stop? Is that gonna get him? It's not, but they're just leaving the underneath open now. You think I could just slant him right over the middle? We're gonna try and bring Gabe Davis all the way across. Oh, he's there! Right in front of Ray Lewis! Gabriel Davis, I gotta get him at least four touchdowns. Not necessarily in this game, but at least four, because that's somebody had in one game. You think Gabe Davis is just open? Fuck it. Oh, he wasn't open. Oh, no. That's actually huge because even if he scores a touchdown, he is also forced to go for two. Go get him. Throw the check down. Yup. <gasps> He's going to throw a check down. Yup. Oh, I totally thought we would cover that. There is a guy right there. First and goal. Definitely he's going to look for it again. Ah! How did I not get that? Go! 
on, stop! One more! Fourth and goal. We just gotta hang out, boys. We got this. We got this. Fourth and goal. He's gonna roll right. We already know that. He's gonna roll right. That's a stop! He's not in! Let's go! Let's get it! We hold! Oh my god, four straight plays. All the check downs, and we hold. I see people run this a lot. I don't know if it's effective or not, but we'll find out. Fuck it. Fuck it, Gabriel Davis down there somewhere. Ah! Ah! It was actually kind of open. I don't know where the fuck this is gonna go. I'm literally playing Tom Brady ass football, but you know what? It's working. That was a check down for 17 yards. That is a really good play this year too. I see people run that shit all the time. Where the fuck is Gabriel Davis? How could Gabriel Davis be tired already? There you are, Gabe Davis. I really don't know if he gets open here, but you just gotta fucking try. Ah, oh, he's on that. He's, he's so on that. All right, good play, sir. I'll take my L. And the left side crosser is open. So it won't take him very long to beat me like a true champion. I'm ready to fucking blitz this if he's running it. Oh, an RPO. Wow. That is a block in the back, sir. I'm not, listen, I'm not the referee here, but that's a block in the back. I might have not been looking at my screen. But that's okay. We like to play with a chip on our shoulder. And you know what else is a Gabriel Davis video? Not a defense video. My biggest regret is not getting these fucking unis. I feel like such a bum for having not gotten them. Do not know what defense this is, and Gabe Davis is not open to say the least, but holy fuck you are. I have to do it. If it's that open, I have to do it. Here's the thing, I could get the PAT to win it, but instead, let's throw it to Gabriel Davis to have a gigantic cock and win this game. And I want Gabe Davis just to torch this guy. Let's see it. Gabe, oh no, he's not there. He's not there. I gotta beam it up to him. Holy shit, holy shit, wait. What the? Oh, he almost, <laughs> what the fuck was that throw? This Josh Allen is stupid. Well, now if I lose, I'll feel like an extra big dumbass, but it would still be funny, so I actually don't care. I want the post corner to work at least one time. It would be so cool if it does. It's just not a route that's very effective in Madden, if I can be honest. Yeah, see, like, that's just... It's just not open. He, he got two hands on it. Oh, I pray he stays on Randy Gregory. He stays on Randy Gregory, I'm throwing this to Gabriel. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? By the way, if we go into third OT, which has not happened yet, that's when it's two point conversions. It like, it defaults to two point conversion. We do that back and forth till somebody wins. Oh, oh shit. sketchy, oh. but he got it. Oh my God. Touchdown, Gabriel Davis. We need a big two point. Oh wait, is this a blitz? This is a blitz. Yes. Game, game! It literally wasn't a blitz, but it's set up like a blitz. Beautiful two point. I literally was not looking at my screen for the first three plays, and we're still gonna get a dub here. This Derrick Henry's a fucking menace, dude. Literally a menace. Oh, he's gonna throw here. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it! I just got a DPI in Madden! You know what, I'm gonna be honest. I usually would actually bitch a lot about that, but that was totally fucking DPI. He wants to throw back across. Oh, ho, ho, ho. clap that shit up. That was fucking nasty. I cannot believe he got that off. I thought for sure he's gonna throw an INT right there. Okay, we know he's rolling out right. Let's just sit on it. Oh, he's not? Oh, Sean T! It's gonna end it! Oh, and you know I'm, you know I'm showboating this all the way to the fucking bank, baby. Let's get it. You can't, come on. You can't get to me, cuh. Hey! <laughs> I'm pitching that shit back. Take it in, what? <laughs> Let's go, that was so disrespectful. Wow, I'm an asshole. He's got Megatron Stafford. I actually don't know who his running back is. Throw this check down. No, sir! Okay, what? How do you not animate for that? Thank God he stepped out of bounds. Throw the checky. Good hit! Oh, you can't let him move forward on that. Oh no, he's got Hawkinson to the end zone. Not there. Right side is there. Oh, he's faster than Devin Hester. Whatever. Does he run this ball? I low-key expect to run. Okay. Oh my God. I, dude, how are you getting through a double team? Two motherfuckers can't hold you. Renee, I might not even get a chance. Dude, somebody blocked an Adam Kinsu. That's crazy though. How do you have a double team on every D lineman, only blitz three and still get pressure? Like look, because I have a guard not blocking anybody, that's why. 
I have to pitch this. Nobody's, yeah, I'm not gonna get it. I hate offensive linemen in Madden so much. So there's six blockers for three linemen, but you've got this motherfucker, 78, blocking literally nobody. What are you even doing? And you've got this motherfucker also blocking nobody. So now you have six guys blocking three, but what you really have is four guys blocking three. You have a single blocker here and you have a single blocker here. Why? What are you two doing? You're just standing there with your dicks in it. All right, looks like he got there five seconds late. You've still got your dick in your ass. So now Ndamukong Sue blitzes through the middle. Bobby Mc... Oh, we got a Washington racism theme team? Bro, so he's the Jets? Don't tell me his team name is Poverty. I think it is. Like, what else would that be? POV? Like, porn? I really don't know what else that would be. I just unleashed one to Gabe Davis, but it wasn't there. What's the odds this Gabriel Davis route is open? Holy fuck. No, his user's on it. You're a bitch for that. Oh, oh, it wasn't open anyway. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it, bro. Justin Jenner's <laughs> Jay Jettas just saved my fucking season. You know, I respect the players in this game mode. For the most part, they don't just come out here and kick the field goal. Everybody's got like a big, got big balls. Also, look at how fucking hard these unis are, bro. The Boneyard jerseys. All right, left side will probably be open. Yep. Oh, 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 I just, oh, oh, it ain't over, baby. It ain't over. Isaiah Simmons comes down and lays the hammer. Oh my God, just like I laid the hammer on your father. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, uh, he's gonna throw here. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, he was throwing to that motherfucker and I was pick six in that. Play action, I'm built differently. Throw here, throw here, you're beta, you're beta, you're so beta. You're so beta, you wanna throw here so bad because you're so beta. Oh, oh, Bobby Swagner, yup. Back to Sean T. Oh, I could have fucking done it if my leaner was bigger. I'm not kicking the field goal either. Both of us have a big cock and we know how to swing it around. We're gonna block up here, run play action. I think he's blitzing and I think Gabe Davis gets open. On the right side, just in front of Sean T and I get lit up. Gabe Davis out there talking shit like, yeah, well, I almost won a playoff game. Get fucked, idiot. Let's see if he's got outside or inside position on Davis. Oh, he's wide the fuck open. You think his Sean T manually covers this corner route? He kind of did. All right, Josh, you can have some love too, buddy. Oh no. Big play, I think he's in cover two. Let's ice this up with a check down to Gabe Davis. Just this little curl, I think they're all gonna drop back. They're not gonna be there, maybe he is. Oh, it's fourth and three, I ain't kicking no field goal. We're gonna rub Sean Taylor off and I'm hitting Gabriel Davis right here. We are now into the two point conversion territory. No, it just hit my own. Oh, we're gonna lose now. Okay, we have to stop his two point, but that is so frustrating. That was wide open and just hit Darren Waller in the fucking face. Bro, if it's gonna hit you in the face, you might as well catch your fucking self, dumbass. Okay, well, this is good news because I don't really know how he'll convert this. No way I house this. We just have to beat Michael Vick. We just have to dodge Michael Vick. One, two. Yes. Yes. Shot That's what you get for not switching on. And we still get the win. Oh, my God. Darren Waller. Darren Waller placed a $100,000 bet on the Jets to win that game, and he still lost. Come on, Darren. Third OT won off of a pick. Not a pick six. A pick two. All right, boys. That was so hype. I got to end it on that. It was so fire. My tribute to Gabriel Davis. Josh Allen, the Bills is complete. I don't think we'll be seeing any crazy new cards from them for a long time. So I don't think the Bills had anyone win any of the NFL awards, unless I'm totally forgetting something. Pretty sure it's going to be Aaron Rodgers, Cooper Cup, maybe... Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, or comeback players. I don't know. We'll see. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. It's always an absolute blast. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.